<laughs> Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Yeah. I'm your host, Dan Gunner. Woo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, help us grow our channel so we can have more good content for you. More I'm algorithms. Here. Once again, with my guys from the sandbox, my day ones, my A ones. Let's get it. Uh, to the left, I have no other than che- Crump, yep. aka Crump Diddy, Ye- aka Dexter, no, nope. aka Vibes, serial killer. Nah, vibes is chill. Oh, vibes is chill. Vibes AKA is chill. William H. The all time great. Uh, aka Paper over people. Yep. Let's go. Pop smoke. Pop smoke. You can't be pop broke. Yeah. Nope, never I that. Mean. Not here. Paper over people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How, how y'all was doing? your week? How y'all doing? How's the, what are your plans for the weekend? How are you doing? What's on your mind? How are you doing today, Crump Diddy? No, nah, I mean, my week was good. Been getting out, hitting, getting a little more sun each each every, each, yes. and every day. I mean, it's been a little warm in the Northeast, you know what I mean? It's yes. supposed to be nice this weekend, so continue to get out there, get some of that sun. Yeah. OD. OD, I'm on nah, the sun. remember the pre-meeting, you said you was good with the light, with the matches. Pre meeting oh, light. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That was funny. Oh, that was bleak. Oh, it was bleak. My bad. I didn't know it was bleak. Oh, it's bleak. Right. It's good. Yeah, it's bleak is good. Yeah, we're good. We're good over here. You see how we but, do um, it. But I'm chilling, yo. I had a good week. I mean, it was good. Oh, uh, everything is good, brother. Yeah. We're just happy that you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. They're in. in Podcast Spot land. Podcast land. Podcast, Podcast land. land. We're here. Podcast landia. Yeah, and yeah. to the right. Uh, I have the man, uh, the myth, uh, the legend, Ay. Pablo, a.k.a. Ay. Bleak. Yes, sir. A.k.a. Made by Pablo. Yes, sir. Certified. Some of the, some of the greatest digs you can find mm. on, the, on the internet. On the yes. internet. On the Real interwebs. Internet. Interwebs. interwebs. A- a.k.a. DJ Wavy Seal. <laughs> That's going to catch on. I like that. Yeah, yeah. AKA, I'm not imagine, letting... Imagine go. DJing at the spot, and then all of a sudden you drop your, you drop, your drop, and it's like, everybody in this, everybody's in the club like, ooh, 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 As soon as I walk in. As soon as you walk in. Iconic. Ooh, I like it. Boss. Iconic. AKA, I'm not letting no pussy pass me. I got to smash it, because I'm that guy. Yes. How are the subscriptions doing? 100% up. Tax season has begun. Tax season has begun. Stimmy Turners is hitting Steamy your account Turner. as it's, we speak. I'm feeling great. One percent. Some of them taxes is coming back too, and them uh, well, them tax breaks is looking lovely. Ooh, that They're child looking lovely. Tax break is looking great. Ooh, wee. gotta tap in. So uh, still a top one percent content top, creator. Of course, gotta subscriptions be. is high. You're subscriptions slacking, is and super high. If you only top one percent, you slacking. I gotta get my decimal up now. Yeah, you gotta get your percentage up. Percentage. You gotta be Easy top. pass only, of course. Top. Easy pass. Easy pass only. Point five percent. Yeah, you gotta get there. You gotta always yeah. set a goal. Always. You should always strive to be in the one percent. Of the one percent, you dig? I do every time. I want to be top two, and I'm not two. <laughs> you dig? And of course, I'm your host, oh, let's a. Get it. Gunner, aka Horsepower, aka Ooh. Low Life, aka Ooh. Gregory Hines, Ooh. the Great Dance Legend, tap tap tap, aka the Moonwalker, aka the Real Gunner. Let's get it. We have it. a lot of AKAs. We do. Yeah. Episode thirty cinco. Episode episode 35. 35. I see you over there with that Big Hurt jersey You feel on. me? You know how it is, baby. Them. Big Hurt. You Hall of I mean? Famer. Let's get it. HOF. Break Hall of Famer, man. Guys, what's going on? How we living? Feeling great. Had a great week. What are the vibes? What are the vibrations between the plutonium solids? They're great. They're moving. They're keeping us together. That's it. That's all. How was y'all got. week? Nah. <laughs> anything? anything y'all, y'all, did y'all do anything this week? Hell yeah, man! Sunny. It feels great. Uh, did I do anything this week? Uh, chill with my son. I, I came off a of vacation because you know it was my birthday. Not Where so was you at? Ago. What'd you do? Uh, when I say vacation, it was more like a staycation. Okay. I, I came those. off of relaxing and not working. Uh, I love those. And just just chillaxing. I love mm. those. Um, chillaxing. That's a word, right? I think so. I was uh yeah I was just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cooling, shooting some b ball. No, I no, was, none I of that. It. Just, just, just chilling out though. And I had a great time. You know, uh, I was with some fam, and um, you know, family is always. Uh, always Being good with family company. is always great. Always good company when you're with family. Right, right, relax. Right, right. We got to rebuild our families, man. Rebuild our communities, man. And that's what this blunt exchange Lead is your all pack. about. Lead your you know, we're having pack. conversations, having fun, but at the same point in time, we're trying to bring people together. Bring, bring them bring together. Bring back. Fathers. We're trying to raise awareness and bring bring the people back together. Bring them back. 
We need that. So, guys, what are we talking about today? I feel like today I want to do it a little bit different. Okay. And I just want to have some fun with it, man. Let's get it, man. We've been, on, we've, been on, we've been really serious the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of things going on. Well, uh, this is America. You got to be serious. Yeah. To some point, I can feel that. Yeah. You got to be serious. You got to pay attention what? to what you... Take care of responsibilities. Mm. That's what you mean by serious, right? Yes, right? I, yes. Pay bills. Pay and, bills, man. Pay your bills. Know what's happening around you. Yes, Feed of course. Feed your kids. But, you know, you also have to enjoy the moments. Yes. You also got to live in the now, you know? Live in the now. One day you wake up... thing ever. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because then... I mean, that maybe it's... Yes, it's very important. Mm. But then you wake up because you could wake up and then your whole life passed mm. you by and would that, wouldn't that be a damn shame? Yes. That would be. So, guys, I think we should all try to live more in the moment. Yes. Going forward and enjoy what we have in front of us. Life is short. Word of the day. Word of the day. Word Ooh, of the day. Word of the day. All right, word guys. Of word of the day. day. This one's a good one. This one's an easy one. Easy one. And I'll accept so many answers. Today's word of the day. Uh-huh. Enfranchise. Enfranchise. The word of the day is enfranchise. Enfranchise. Hmm. Any guesses? Wow, you to got me there. Start a franchise? Not in franchise. You got me there. Yeah. Well, give me a sentence. Uh Damn, is there even a fucking sentence here? Hold on. There isn't. Hold on. I can make up a sentence. Yeah, make up a sentence. Enfranchised. Unfranchised. Enfranchise. Not franchise? You want me to spell it? E N franchise. Yeah, yeah. E N franchise. Yeah, just, Not franchise? Give me a sentence. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to give a sentence without being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Just be an asshole? Do you, bro? I mean, just like, yeah, like. Don't make it a three worded sentence. <laughs> He is enfranchised. Yeah, he enfranchised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, <laughs> give me a little bit. So the word of the day. The, the word of the day, enfranchised. Here's a sentence. The Pelicans now having an owner are now enfranchised in the league-wide votes. Oh, okay, okay. To become a voting member board of a um, bigger organization. like To become a franchise? Okay. okay. No, not you. Become unionized, a union become franchise. Uh, like to like representation. To like to bring your th thing or to start a fr like to start a franchise inside of a league of some yeah, sort. Yeah, franchise. Start a franchise. Okay, I see what you're trying yeah, to say here. That's that's all I got. All right. So the definition is funny. So there's so many different ways that, that uh -huh. I would have accepted. That's so why I said that. So I'm I'm good with both of you guys. And franchise, right? Mm -hmm. The definition says give the right to vote. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Another definition is emancipate, liberate, free. Okay. That's a good one, G. So it's to give power to. Well, that's like, fire. To, exactly. to legitimize. To legitimize. I, I had no idea. You know what I mean? So I learned something new today. So you enfranchise, you give someone the right, you give someone like the... Yeah, you embolden. You, yeah. Not embolden, but... but you, no, like, they're right. like one of you. They're, you give them the, yeah. you know, the yeah, step in. Yeah, I feel in. that. Good that, that word. Good yeah. word. What's up? Good enfranchise, and then we can, you know what I mean? So when you disenfranchise <laughs> someone... You take it away. You're taking you take away. away. Right. They're even, they're just the person, who they are. I'm down with them enfranchised boys. And franchise boys, I like that. That's another T-shirt. That's a good Wait one. Wait for that merchandise. It's coming. Blunt Exchange merchandise on the way. Um, all right, guys, let's get That's into. That's a the good shoots, one, right? G. You like that one? I yeah. like that one. All right, let's get into you it. You know what's Fuck a it. bad one? What's a bad one? The little Nas X sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy because if it wasn't about what it's about, if it wasn't <laughs> called what it was Nike. called, I I I enfranchised myself in voting no for those sneakers. So worshiping Satan is cool. I mean, I'm still not over the blood yeah. on the sneakers. What kind of cult? <laughs> this shit is getting spooky. They're trying to keep That's it. Some cold shit, keep, right? What the fuck? God bless you. They're trying to keep it drippy. <laughs> nah, man. But why would you want somebody's blood on your sneakers? In, your sne in the air bubble. In, this, in the air bubble. Nah, so what you outside. mean? That shit pops and then blood. What's I mean? What so what's your thoughts fuck? on that? What's your, would you, uh, would you, from a collecting sneakers point of view, would you cop? Would you have wanted to try and cop one of those? Uh, I would have no interest whatsoever in copying none. Them, them devil shits. Yeah, I am disgusted by it. Um, I don't get why it's happening. Who asked for these? 
But at the same point in time, people will buy anything to try to resell it. So I get, you know, if it's a limited yeah. quantity. If it was, if I'm just strictly cold-hearted hustling, hey, I give it a look because I might be able to get wild bread off this. I'm interested to see if StockX is carrying them. Hmm. But then again, yeah, you you face the backlash too because it's such a polarizing. Yeah, and how how are you gonna yeah solidify those? Are yeah, so then you're like accepting this devil shit as official. To be thing. to be fair, they also came out uh, some time ago with uh, some holy water editions of the same kicks. Yeah, they tried. I thought they made that as a fucking. Oh, they made those first? Yeah, they made those first. They've been the trying. The Holy Waters? Yeah. They've been trying. They've been trying. And they won't get no hits, so they was like, yo, fuck it. Let's do the devil joints. Let's do the instead. devil joints. Jesus. Capitalism, huh? Listen, I, first of all, I don't even believe that, that they sold in a minute. I think that was just bots. So. I mean, but bots, somebody puts the that. bots out with numbers. Yeah, that was probably numbers. two people. Exactly. One person. That was one bot. That's it. Yeah. And I mean, one still, minute, it was getting, one bot. still it, getting it was one purchased, bot. though. It was one bot. It was one person. That's I mean it. that's fine. So he it really wasn't what they say that it sold out in a minute. That whole that whole little I mean, thing. But they they still, to say, it was still it's still it was sold bot. out. Yeah, it was a bot. So it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't um what it's, is it? it's still sold. Yeah, it only quit like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't even go to good. Yeah. How does it not if it? How can you? Well, it's like forging numbers, right? Yeah, it's like forging numbers. What, what are you talking about? Oh, so you think they just be lying about the soul? They didn't even make 600 cap pairs? Uh, like no, they like, made 600. They had like seven pairs and they just made up a whole if they fraudulent made Photoshop. Pairs, one bot sales. could have bought that. Yeah, but it doesn't oh. matter if one person bought it if it's bought. Like, $1,000. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If anybody decides so to buy it. So $1,000 is 666 pairs, $666,000. Yeah. There you go. That's over half a million dollars. Yeah. Nike like about to take all that. No, Nike's gonna lose. Nike's, Nike's, Nike's not gonna, gonna lose, lose if they tout it as a Nike release. Nike exclusive. don't lose ever. Yeah. Nike hasn't lost. Nike will they, not lose. They can't use Nike's name. But you can't sell it as a Nike. They, they, no, they were. No, you can't sell it as a Nike shoe. They were pumping it as like it's a, a Nike, Nike release. A Nike release. Oh. Um, I just don't like how he's uh, how he was he was first. Uh, Portrayed to be like a kid's artist, and now he's out here giving lap dances to the devil, and mad kids like him, and probably yeah. already follow him. So yeah. all right, so I now, so like now that. I want to so hold on before let, let's get Bleak in on this before because now you just said something that now I, I take exception to. Okay, so Bleak, how do you feel about uh, oh him seducing the devil and then no, see, Will has corrupted us already. What do you mean? He said he because well, the, the ultimate the yeah, ultimate topic about was about the video. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. The video, he seduces the devil and then he defeats him. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I heard. Is in the, I, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't fair, watched it either. I haven't watched. I haven't the video. watched it. And I don't think I'm going to. Okay. So. Not even for research purposes. No, I'm not research. There's nothing to research. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm good. Nothing to research there. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. So I'm good. I don't know what his viewers are. What his viewers are. Yeah, what they view. What they think. I don't know what they think. But. I'm good. Okay. And uh, the question I have to say is, or what I have to say, you said um, it's fucked up that, I mean, sorry, you said it's messed up that, you know, he has all these fans. He was portrayed as a, a, a child. A uh, kid. Like, not a kid star, but somebody a pop, who, a pop, a pop, a pop somebody that's, that's. And now he's gone completely another way, right? I feel like since that song has come out, it's, which was like, that song and that video was, in my opinion, completely different than what appears to be who. Little Nas X truly is as an artist. Yeah. And I feel that, like, it's unfortunate that, like, it, it seemed like they went the safe route to, to, reel, to reel the fans in. And once they, once they were there, um, he really went off the uh, deep end, in my opinion, uh, with his... Not, not, I'm not going to say he went off the deep end, but he showed his true colors or true style and, and fat and, and, and how he dresses in the music and... What he's talking about, and you know, I just don't like that for the kids. Yeah, I don't like that for the kids either. Yeah, but at the same point in time, and we gotta listen to the kids. And I'm not defending anything that he's doing because I don't. I it's not my cup of tea. Once, like like I said before, but as an artist, it's not my responsibility of what your morals are, what your what you think, what you like, whatever. I can use whatever tactics. I'm just trying to sell a product, which is my music, which is my art, like. You, I'm glad you like Old Country Road. Let me see if I can slip my I fuck the devil shits in there, and okay. maybe you like it. Maybe I get some new new fans. Maybe yeah, like maybe. maybe it's true. You know what I mean? It's marketing. Hey, 
And if I can get another old country road off again, I'll do it again too. Yep. Like, I don't have to have your morals. I'm the fucking artist. I'm the product. You're on. You're coming to me. So if you don't fuck with it, peace. Bye. So like, you know, it's not the onus and the responsibility in that case is not on the artist to me at all. Okay. So like, I'm not saying he has to change. I can too. shit on his art like I don't fucks with it. But I can't be like, how dare he fucking seduce the kids and then go another way with it? Like, yo, no, the, no, nigga, I, just, can... I just feel it's misrepresentation. <laughs> the fuck? I just These niggas are all misrepresenting. Like, the niggas are lying about everything. All of them, the, the, our favorites are lying. The good ones are lying. Like, but you know. But that's what I was saying when you said that. It made me feel about like, it's not his fault. The fuck. I mean, nice. Cardi B to me, uh, well, Cardi B. You said like it's like you, you said it's like you said it's like Cardi B and uh, the WAP well, the, the, the camera man said or it, getting he feels like Cardi B or whatever and, he was doing in that video. Yeah. How, I, how so? How so? I, I don't necessarily agree because Cardi B, in my opinion, out the out the gate came out as an adult artist. Talking about adult uh, situations. You think it was a bait and switch? Is what you're saying? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, which yeah. is, I don't like, like, like it was. It's like when, <laughs> like, if it's like the cigarette company would have like cherry flavor and like, yeah. like it's like you're doing some grime shit, no, some I Pied just, Piper just, shit. You think he's doing some Pied Piper shit? Yeah, that that's what I feel. Oh, so you have like a whole lo- another. I just feel like he's a young nigga. Okay. He made a song. He couldn't believe. Like, I don't think he thought that Old Town Road was about to be Old Town Road. Like, no way in hell. I don't think the whole machine's like this is gonna be a hit, and we choose you because we can manipulate you into what, making them worship the devil. I don't think that's what's I mean, happening. That's a, yeah, I think the little kid got crazy, lucky, got a hit show. in a song. He doesn't know where he's at in his life. He, I mean, he's figuring his shit out. He's okay. Now he's gay. He wasn't gay before. I mean, he was always gay, but he wasn't saying he was gay. He wasn't on the gay vibes. Now he's gay represent. He's the gay Avenger. Now he's fucking the devil and throw, riding the devil. Yeah. If, if, if He's dubbing the devil out, and you know what I mean? With giving, you know what I mean? If, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I think he's just in a... He's just growing up and figuring it out. Do you feel? Do you feel that if if you feel like when Old Town Road came out mm-hmm. and he came out and he was dressed like in the pink cowboy outfit he wore um, at the, I believe one of the award shows, uh, would you have liked it? Would you still like the song, or would you not really? I don't know what your stance is on the song. Did you think that it was a good song? Uh, it was a good song. Did you think it was a catchy song? Did you think it was, it was very catchy? It was a it good was, song. It was uh, it was a very the production was a, it was a great beat, right? Nice, you know, it was, a, it was very catchy, bro. Like, what can we say? And we yeah. didn't know what the intention. We do, didn't know what Old Town it, Road or the it, horse meant. Do you think if he wore or that, riding meant? I thought it was some country shit. I didn't know it was some gay shit. You, I didn't know. Do you think if it, if he wore that pink cowboy outfit during the video that it'd be a, the song would would have been as big as it was? Uh, mm. No, but usually, how many, how many times is the first time you're hearing about a song or seeing a song in the video? That's not often. No, I'm saying like whenever the video dropped, I'm 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 the the song took off. I'm not yeah the, the song I'm was not saying the video already, made the song. The, the song the was already a mega I feel like mega yeah. dega yeah. super hit quadrega smash. Before yeah, the I, video I, 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 was I, even I, made. Just the song, yeah, yeah. The point. video complimented the song, in yeah. my opinion. The but, video like exposed, not exposed. The video introduced some shit. Ultimately, what I'm asking is, do you think if he was this? uh uh, visual with his style when he first came out be- with the first single that he'd be as popular as he is? I think that's the ultimate question is like is his flamboyant uh, his flamboyant uh, performance and fucking like persona is, you think that will lose him a lot of fans basically what you're saying? I think that I don't think the kids. I don't think the average parent is letting their kid watch that. If that's the yeah, first. but if he's not saying anything crazy, he's just dressing crazy, and he's still making slaps. I think he's good. I think the problem is, honestly, he's just not making as many slaps anymore. So Where are the slaps at? Because so if he's that? making slaps, it doesn't matter what he does. People mad. People are saying crazy, stupid shit, coming in and out of jail, doing all kinds of crazy shit. But they're making hits. Some so nigga li- li- allegedly shot a bitch. So do you feel it's a uh, he, do you feel he's more so relying on the the persona to keep the him, drama? The, yeah, to keep him alive. Then uh, he's relevant on the blogs. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Is he relevant on the blogs though? I mean, this gotta be. He's relevant now. The blood, the the blood sacrifice shoes is relevant. 
They don't know who Lil Nas X is. I don't hear nothing I about mean, Lil Nas X. Didn't he have a video? Didn't he have a vi- did, did, Wasn't one of his last videos him making out with himself or something like yeah. that? Like yeah, he's, yeah. He's been, we talked about that. He's yeah. been he's been pretty uh, out he, there like yeah. since that. Yeah, but video. but he don't. He's, he's not ringing consistent. no. He's not he's, ringing he's, no bells. He's being consistent. I don't hear nobody here talk about Lil Nas X. It's really a disgrace that his name has Nas in it. <laughs> I feel sorry for niggas. And Nas is not even my nigga like that. And I feel I feel bad for niggas that fuck with Nas. I feel That's like. crazy. So y'all know about uh, Malik Beasley on the Timberwolves and Larza Pippen? Oh yeah, they're married, right? Uh, no. Wait, oh. Larza Pippen? Uh, Scotty Pippen's wife. Again? Oh, oh his ex wife. Again? Oh, they're, they're no, no, they're still, they're, they're still They're still. He's still married to her. Again? Um, they're, they're still married? Yeah, him, Scotty Pippen's still married to her. No. Nah, yeah. you're lying. What? Yeah. I thought she just kept the last name. Nah, I think she. I. I How do you mean he's still married? Isn't he fucking some bitch right now? I mean, that doesn't mean. He's, isn't they, isn't he involved with somebody I mean, right I mean, now? I mean, he's separated. They're just separated. They just separated, but they're, they're just won't separated. Divorce. But they're smashing. She wasn't. She just smashing future. <laughs> she was smashing everybody. She's still smashing everybody. So ultimately, she was dating Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley oh is uh, Malik Beasley is married to an Instagram model who's uh, pretty okay. and young. Oh my you know, God! Is young. What oh, is going Montana on? Yo, yo. Do we want to put the? Are you put a picture up. Yeah, the, the side by side. Yeah, both. Larsa Pippen and them. I'm gonna pick what his. I'm gonna pick his uh, wife. Why is Larsa Pippen seducing? How is she seducing niggas? So like this? and so his wife's young. Is the box his like out of control? And they have a kid. So he left oh her. He left her. He left his wife. He to, left her. to to be with Larsa Pippen, and then Larsa she, Pippen the top must be like out of control. And, so, and then Larsa Pippen dumped him and then uh, went, gotta, went to the next new uh, basketball high, player. Yeah, I got to go higher. And she then, was like, yo, you, you don't have enough you don't talent. Even, does he start? And then his, and then his ex-wife just hit him with the, uh, with the uh, child support now. Good for you, stupid nigga. Like, that's the world we live in, stupid. Yeah, that's dumb. All right, dummy. You lost. Wait. <laughs> Play again. Thanks Say for coming. Say that last part again. So he was, who's getting the child support? Who's giving him? Who's uh, his him? wife. His, the wife, he, he just left. Wow. I mean, why wouldn't she? Yeah. You stupid be... nigga embarrassing her in, in public. For an old like shorty who's, 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 who's not even on everybody. you like that. Who's jumping with everybody. And she's not even on you. Yeah, she chills with the car. You just jumped out there. You went crazy. Have you ever jumped out there all crazy for something you thought was about to happen and it it went crazy? It it twisted? Um, Yes, I'm sure. Niggas need more, like, stories about shit or shit that you've heard where niggas jump out there for some shit, like, dub their whole shorty. Dub your shorty. Yo, shorty, I'm done with you. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling feeling how you do this no more. You know what I mean? Your meatloaf is wild dry. And I feel like there's better things out there for me. You know what I mean? This yeah. is not where my life is supposed to be at. Okay. You're not the one. This is not it. Because you think you have another situation lined up. You go yeah. talk to Shorty, and she's like, oh, I thought we was just... Oh, you dumb, Shorty? Ugh, I have a nigga. Yeah, like, oh, I forgot to tell I you. He, never, he's going to be I here. I never thought it would be like that because you also had a Shorty. So, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ever been through something like that ever? Nah, nah, nah I've never been Would you that. ever... Have you ever jumped out there? You take big risks? Uh, I don't. Uh, I mean, I take I take risks. I don't. I don't know. I don't Grand know. gesture shit. Like, mm. hmm. When you bagged your shorty, like, did you like if would you pull out the stops to bag a shorty? Send f- send eighty fucking dozen of eighty dozen roses to her job. Like, yo, shorty, I fucking I'm love ready. you, shorty. Mm. <laughs> no, that's not. I'm not sending you eighty dozen roses. Four dozen. Job. Four dozen. Twelve dozen. Twelve dozen roses. Yeah. Did yeah, you Eight. do it? No. Yeah, yeah. No, Twelve dozen. Bleak grand gesture type nigga. Would you have you have you done any grand gestures? I feel like I have before. Sometime, yeah. I've done grand. Of course, gestures. everybody has fallen over one can time. It, can I get some of the grand gestures or Damn, grand gestures you've heard right about? Now, like some wild one of the most finest grand done. gestures you've done in your life. Grand gestures. No. Mm. Not, Put nah, rims on I, what? Yeah, I guess I haven't done too many. <laughs> nah, I never put no. You didn't get a you didn't get a shorty back. all the flavors of the uh the feel boots. You didn't get her the the right, beef and broccolis, the macaroni ooh. tonies. Ever gave him the last bite of your meal? Give it a whole the whole shebang. You good for every season, baby? I got you. I mean, yeah, I just do. I, I feel that's just regular. Pay for a whole just, year of Netflix that. subscription. No, you just give her your out. login. You give her your login. Yeah, that's respect. That's how you know he loves you. You have his login. 
Netflix login. Netflix login. Get the Netflix login. And the Hulu and, and the, the Disney Hulu. Plus. The nah, actually, I think the Amazon Prime one is worth more. You got to give them the Amazon Prime. For Why? The there's year. only like three shows on Amazon Prime. No, but it's no, the, the delivery. It's, it's the, the shipping, oh, my guy. The, the Amazon they, Prime. Now they can shop. Yeah, I feel you. Next day delivery. The TV two is day delivery. To that, right? Free yeah. delivery. Yeah. They'll like that. Mm. Pay the whole year. Oh, yeah, Malik Beasley. Why is everyone running to the same old wash joint? Yeah, I don't know why. She's old and washed. She is she must, washed? She's probably not washed. She probably she looks mad good in real mean, life. She's had mad plastic surgery done. She top, probably just, top game crazy. Yeah, something probably top crazy. Top game about crazy. Her. That all these niggas is just going crazy. I can't get pregnant. Goggles. You can do whatever you want. I mean, mad bitches say that, though. No, but she's old. Oh, my God. Yeah, but isn't that like a cut? It works against you too. No, I'm like, saying in the sense of yeah, in no, their, yes, I their, know. They're like in their sexual. I know you can't, get, can't pregnant. get pregnant. You just had menopause. Yeah, but aren't they? Isn't that forties? And when in a if, if she's bad, if they're in a sexual prime, isn't that their sexual prime? Wow, 40s. man, she's heat. She's 40s, hot right now. If they're not in the, if the physics, if the physical prime is imagine. I mean, she looks the part. I guess. I'm not saying she's. I guess. I'm not she's saying she's super bad, but she she gets the plastic surgery done to to maintain the look as much as possible. As much as possible. You going for it? What? No, I'm not doing that. She's going for it. She's going for it. Y'all taking Lars of Pippa down? I'll do it. I gotta know at this point. You gotta know what the hell's going Just on. Just for content. We gotta find out. Gotta keep the subscriptions up. Gotta find out. Yeah. You gotta add new, like what? New uh, viewers, new. Uh, <laughs> but you gotta protect this somehow before you even new meet fan her. Bases. Yeah. Cause she obviously does something to fuck your head up. So you gotta like find a way to protect yourself. I don't understand her game. She's just trying to like wrangle as much dick as she can. Like <laughs> she's dick wrangling. <laughs> she's making up for. Uh, like I don't know. It's like a new wave nowadays. A new age where like women are just trying to like out nigga niggas. Like they're trying to out men men. Like, yo, I'll fuck mad niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? It's like, what does that do? You gotta be the odd one. It doesn't like, matter God, what it does. I can, me, and I, I'm doing it. Not me. I can. I can do it. That's all I wanted. I did it because I can. Like, all right, so I guess. How yeah, at me? Do you. Nah, you gotta be do the you, one that mom. says no. Like, <laughs> shit is painful to watch, oh. man. Yeah. <laughs> but I still love you, women. Don't get it twisted. I love, oh, love. you. What's some new shit? I like that. Then this is your shit. You said, you said some shit earlier. But anyway, we'll figure it out. Who was going to put on a t shirt? I forgot. Whatever. Consent Boys. Consent Boys. Franchise something. Mm. Uh, the Enfranchise mm -hmm. Boys. Oh, Enfranchise Boys. Yeah. yeah. I like that. There you go. Enfranchising. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? I, made that, I made that up out of nowhere. Yeah, no, no inspiration whatsoever. No inspiration. <laughs> um, there was plenty in there. So okay. did y'all see uh, Dwayne Wade on the uh, oh no Brendan Marshall podcast? Oh, no. I am a athlete where he talked about fire podcast. People talking about his kid. I'm not gonna lie, that is a pretty entertaining podcast. Oh dear, yeah. With the ex players, I can't front. Can't front. It's very entertaining. It's very I'm not good. a big. I'm not a super, you know what? I fuck with them niggas. I'm I always fuck with I'm the athletes. Gonna, I'm not going to pump a podcast, but oh, a, a right. podcast from right. former professional athletes. I, I like mess, it. I mess with that because hey, that's something I've never athletes. done. I've never been a professional athlete, athlete so, so that's cool. I like he, it. Yeah. I like pretty it a lot. Good. Pretty good. Um, Moving on. I fuck with the uh, up Yeah, but I, smoke I heard about it. I think I've seen clips of it, highlights of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Dwayne Wade is in a position to me, man. I think he's just doing a great job for the position he's in. Okay. Um... Salute, There's salute. A lot of misinformation. Salute. But in the end, in the position that he's in, mm -hmm. what can you do? I think he's doing great too. Yeah. As long as You're you right. don't like, and hey, this, hey, if it's spicy, it's spicy, man. But fuck it, this is the blunt exchange. Forgive me if I'm stupid. Spice it up. Tell me if I'm ignorant. Spice it. But as long as you don't let him cut nothing, mm. slice nothing up until he's 18, mm. go ahead. Then hey, you did your job. Love you the kid it. and accept the guard, kid. Yeah. And, you put tell him what the you path. want to tell him, but, you know, love him. That's it. Move on. Yes. Love him. Maybe I'm a different path. mindset now. I have I have my own. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, it's my fucking kid. I don't give a fuck. Just. Protect. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Because eventually, as they get older, because how many things you did when you were 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old that you look back now like, yo, this is fucking stupid. And I would have died for this. This is stupid as shit. So yeah. I feel like, you know, as long as you don't cut, snip, snap, you can wear all these dresses. We're going to look back at these pictures like, look at you, look at you, nigga. Look at you. <laughs> look at you, nigga. You have or, so- or look back and be like, oh, man, you got way fresher than now you got the Louis Vuitton joints. Yeah. Now everything custom made. Yeah, now your wig is the best. I seen. I see it. Yeah. I never seen a wig like that. It's the absolutely flyest. flawless. Straight from horse hair. Bitch. Straight from the, the finest stallion. <laughs> the drippiest bitch. From the flyest bitch in the game. My son, <laughs> the flyest EJ. bitch in the up, game. Up there with, with Irvin Johnson's son and Dwayne Wade's son. The yeah. flyest bitch in the Here game. Here we go. The flyest in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, please tell me. Huh? We gotta be able to talk about anything. Y'all niggas yeah. sound very scared. Scared money don't scared money don't make money. Yeah. Nah, not at all. Let's talk about it. So uh, I have no. Hold on, wait a minute. We lo- listen. Uh-huh. Dwayne Wade did is I I don't see too many other ways he can go about this. Right. Okay. That are not healthy and healthy for his son. Let me get the light of them. Oh man. And healthy for his son. Like I don't know. I feel like. What can you do? What's the other options? There is. What would you say? I, I mean, there is other options, yeah. but he chose oh, what, the best. What, what do you think? I mean, obviously, the other options are the negative ones, you know, where you try to, like, force someone and then all of that. But he obviously didn't take that angle. He protected and helped and showed a lot of love and was getting it through it. I think they all are together. They're all doing a great job. So it's not just him. It's the whole family. Yeah, man. I know a lot of people keep asking me to talk about the Dwayne Wade shit. But I don't see that. Nah, man. He's very I supportive. don't see the fucking misstep yet. I don't see the problem. You feel me? He's saying that he loves and accepts his son. I don't, I, he has to. It's his son. That nigga's a little kid. Like, That's he what I'm saying. let him figure it out. You know how hard it is not to? No, he didn't provoke that, man. Yeah, so. but you know, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the other of it, the other side of it is the negative, And that takes so much energy to be against something than actually seeing it for what it is and then, you know, transcending through it and, like, b- getting even better at it. So he obviously did the best. He took the right path. I mean, that's the best path I, I, see, I see. I don't see any other path. Yeah. Because even as me, I don't agree with necessarily that way to go about it for my son. I would hope my son would go another way about it, more traditional way, a way that I did. I uh-huh. want him to follow my footsteps and, you know, be better, even better and go beyond me. Yes. So I would be, uh, you know, listen. Following I'm gonna, your footsteps of what? Being super straight? <laughs> however you want to put it. But following my footsteps, get a wife, have, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Or <laughs> aspire to have a wife, you know, have children. Um, like, yes. like, super with straight. A, uh, with, with a, a woman that with, was born a woman. Okay. Oh, okay. Man, so sure. she was able to. to sure. She was able to reproduce sure. his children from her own loins. Yes, okay. you gotta make sure. In her own womb. Okay. All right. Um, Natural. And I, it's, it's, the way it's God crazy that it. it's crazy. See, see. Wait, did I? Did it's did crazy. I, go I don't know. You see okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Why can't this blood exchange? Just say I know. Fuck, you know what I'm mean? just saying. So, so I would prefer that. But you know, he's his own person. And all I could be able to say is, I love you. I accept you. Let's talk about it. Yes. Let's keep having conversations. We're, yes. we're, you know, that's what life's about. We're talking. We have conversations all the time. Yeah. Shout out to them. What's up? Real Shout talk. out to them. You want to ask the gender question on the show? What mm-hmm. makes it, what's male and female? Are we talking biologically? Like penis and versus vagina? Yeah. This is, this is, this is, this is one of the fights. This is one of those topics that like, we can be here forever. Yeah. And then there's people that are going to be wild offended because how many genders are there? There's unlimited. There's New York ha- 47. New York there's 58. Counts as, uh, I think New York counts like 39 or something like that. Right New now. York has 39. So, like, you know, where does it end? Where does it start? Or something like that. Is that disrespectful to ask that? Like, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to, I'm super straight with all that and I'm super straight. Keep it super straight. You I'm did? super straight with everything. I feel that. Anything to say? Oh, oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm super straight. Super straight. Facts. You don't believe in that? No, but I'm just straight. I'm straight. I'm You're straight just with, straight. I'm straight so with you, everything. So I'm she doesn't have to be born a woman. All right. Um, Next topic. That's how it is. 
Go ahead, like, but I'm not fighting that war because you know because I'm gonna take a seat back on that. We one. just talked about on that, that war, yeah. No, it's that's just, just an interesting. That's so interesting to me. All right, moving on. You know what's crazy when you go into a store? Um, as a black man, you already first of all you already have the storekeeper following you around. Right. I heard a trick about that. You just tell them, listen, oh, you work here? Uh, help me shop, hold my bag or whatever. And they they have to do it by policy of this both stores. Nice. Fire. So that's a good way. Like you nigga following. Oh, hey, oh, you're hey. Oh, you're bag. obviously offering yeah. service. Swag. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't read you. I didn't card. understand that. Yeah, language. good looks. Yeah. Hold that. Oh, I want that. A little bit magic. Oh, I and want I, that. And at the end of the day, you just keep the stuff that you have in your arms because that's all you wanted. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, never mind. I don't want, I want that. that. Put that away. Yeah, turn it against them. You dig? You're smart. Yeah. So you ever been in the store and it'll be. Uh, employee working there that just takes their job just a little too serious. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's everywhere. Like, oh no, you're only supposed to take no more than two. Yeah. Like, yo, my nigga, it's the sample Jones, bro. Like, do you give a fuck? They're just out here. Like, are you serious? One per look, at the si- look at the sign. Well, the sign says, like, sir, uh, you can only take yeah, two. Like, I, like, dude, are these coming out of your fucking paycheck or some shit? Like, what the fuck is going on no, here? No, sir, I just need are to you respect the- our policy. <laughs> Are you the chicken tender monitor? Like, yeah. do they pay you for that? Like, no, you're getting sir. extra checks for that? Yeah, no, sir. I just need you to understand the rules. You get for this? You successfully protected 73 chicken tenders today. No, sir. From I just fraudulent need you to chicken tender. From Niggas. fraudulent uh, sampling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oversampling. Yeah. Fraudulent oversampling. You sir, if you sure continue, you sir, I'm going to have to have you removed from and the I premises. O- <laughs> We're going to have to have you removed from the premises. Perfect. You had three chicken tenders. It, the sign says two clearly. So, so what was it again? So, uh, the lows, nigga. Yeah. So sometimes niggas take their job too fucking serious. Way too serious. Way too seriously. Man, thirst like shit is coming out of their paycheck. Yeah, like like, like they have stock in the company when and you're I'm just for, a cashier. Yeah, and I'm all for taking pride in your job, but you got to know, like, what's important and what has nothing to do with you. Because when you think about these companies, these big yeah. companies, for the most part. You know, mom and pop is maybe not the same. Yeah, right. But these big box companies, big companies. Yeah, uh, franchises. National, yeah, franchises and shit like that. Okay. You are an employee. Yeah. Oh, you're one of thousands. Being, you're you're one of thousands. Number. Anything. You're just employee number six, number. seven, and six, it, one, And it three. shows just now, on a, and I'm not, listen, I'm not anti-work. Please go get your job, nine to five, work fire. Hard, listen, get your money. Get your money. For majority, nine to five. Support your family, get your else. money. Yeah. I was in, I mean, you know, I was in it too. And sometimes I do still. Dibble it's and dabble, you know. It's, you got to make money. You play the line. You play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, but I, I'm at, at the same point in time. I'm not at their. You know what I mean? Back and call. Yeah, they don't. They don't own me. I can get away right. from them, and I'm still good. Right. Okay. Um. But you see how people will risk their life, do whatever for a company, right? And mm-hmm. just at any point in time, that like we see mm-hmm. the story with the Lowe's guy. Right. Yeah. What employee of the month for four months? He might not be the four straight months. He four not, straight months. He might not be the best. Example of it because everyone has, you know, things yeah. that, you know, you're a human being, there's good and bad things. But I've seen people work at a company well, 20, happened? 30 years. He got fired for his, what, 37 short, 37 cents short his on his draw, register. Yeah, his register was 37 cents short. Fired. Fired. Things happen. Mistakes happen. That's crazy. Employee of the month, four straight months. 37 cents, you're out of there. Guess what he was? What happened? He was black. Well, he was black, obviously, but. The- is that, is, that, is that a coincidence? <clears throat> well, not obviously, but... You hope not. I feel like that's funny. I feel like they just had a reason to fire... Like, they did want to fire him. There's no other way. You sure? I think he might have posed a threat. That's what usually it is. Posed a threat? Like yeah, what? Yeah, he posed a threat. Whoever was above him. Four months straight being employee of the month. Oh, I see what you're saying. He was, he was, he was setting, posting he a was threat. He was up. too good. He was setting this up. He was up. too good. He was going to take my job. He was posting a threat. Get him it out happens. Of it's, you got to understand the, 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 the pyramid and how that works from employee, you know, from the supervisor, manager, all of that. Like, mm. if he's posing a threat and I don't want... To his job security. For, yeah, like, the next person could have been... That's cutthroat. It and is nowadays the way happens. the way most of these contracts these kids these people work uh, that's what I got you can get fired for anything for anything anything I don't yeah blue you wearing blue today Ugh, I'm blood uh, you're out of here no but I'm hey. serious he posed he was posting a threat whoa you're Cho no <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's crazy though man hope he gets another job quick he will but that's how it is he that's good that he got out of there obviously. You so good for them. Yo, Blunt Exchange. Yo, I really be high on this show, man. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not fake. I'm not pretending. I am booted. 
It's true. I know these niggas, whatever, don't get booted or something. It's fake. Their shit is fake. You dig? I get high, I get high on the show personally. I get high. I get high. I don't feel no kind of way about it. It's legal in my state. Derek Jackson. Hey. hey. Sasson. So recently he got. So recently he got caught up. So recently he got caught up in a in a couple scandals. Yeah. At yeah. first he said he was he wasn't cheating. He was doing everything but sex. But now he's come out and said he's had multiple sexual encounters, encounters. including butt sex. Oh. He said anything but sex. Now he even does oh. butt sex. So yeah, and now Including. he's 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 looking completely, he's looking like a complete fraud. That's your interpretation. Yeah, he looks like somebody who preaches something that he doesn't he doesn't walk. Is his is his advice valid? No. Was it valid before? Is no. it still valid? To me, no. In my opinion, no. Wow. Why do you think his advice is not valid? Oh, I I I guess is I was referring to the advice he gives to men. That's what he says to men. Right. What do you think? Um, well, everything he every so everything he preached, right? Everything he said, he obviously his actions were different, right? They were the complete opposite of what he was saying. There's been at least three women that said they had sexual encounters with yeah. him. One yeah. that said that he, she got pregnant by him. Another one said they shared a relationship with him for over a yeah, year or she, two. Yeah. He was uh, flying her into to Ale- sleep in the crib that they, that he shares with his wife. Yeah, and she's been... And took she's, pictures of him in, in, his the cri- crib, in, the crib. in the crib that he shares with yeah. his wife. Uh, so, and like allegations that they've been doing shit for the whole time. They, well, they've been, yeah. he, he's been together with his wife for like over 12, 14 years, something, something like, like that. that. And they said that he's only Since been faithful, college. like, a, well, without any actual allegations for about six, eight months yeah. or like a, maybe a year is going to be nice mm. out of that relationship span. Yeah, he, he said uh, when you get, when you get caught, it's probably not the first time you've probably been cheating. Girl, then you can just do a collage of just the shit that he says that yeah. is actually hypocritical to the way he actually lives. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hilarious. I've seen a couple of the, the, the medleys. Did you see the video with him holding his hand, wife's hand? You In feel jail. Like he made, you, what was that giving you? What were the vibes you got from that? I feel like he was making her he was making her sit there. And, like what? Like like uh, hostage vibes? Yeah, hostage vibes. Serial killer. Serial killing, like that was actual serial yeah, killing, not, not like, I, I don't not know like. What, see, that's actual serial killing. Yeah, not actual. the serial killing so that you can, do. Maybe we like, can drop my serial because that's no. No, connection. your shit is still there's serial no killing. You're the type of nigga no, no, to no, do no, like no connection. There's no connection. Nah, you're the you're no, the nigga no, 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 no. the type nah, of no connection. Like but, cereal no, no, no. with water. No, no. Like you're one of those niggas. Serial killing. No connection. Still serial killing. No connection. No connection. No connection. No connection to that kind of shit. We're gonna drop that. Yeah, because that's real serial killing. That's od. For what? Yeah, he's a super narcissist. Yeah, he He's obviously Derek Jackson. No, no. The thing is that he obviously thought. No, he can't can stop. he still? Can he still stay in this lane and make bread? I feel. I feel if, as long as he continues, he can. He continue make some bread. I'm, I'm not. Can he, can he's he, not gonna make as much bread. I feel. Can he stay in this lane and make bread if his wife left him? Uh, if his wife left him, I, I don't think so. That's that's that's. You think the bread stops? Yeah, I think the bread stops. You think he could change their role and, and be like... his wife, like, yo, if you leave, I can't even pay you no, like, alimony like that because the bread stops. You think he could change the, the role and be like, yo, I'm a nigga that fucked up, like, and this is how you get your shorty back or this is how you repent, like, this is how you get right after fucking up, like, and take that lane. I feel he... he, he niggas, he, like, you fucked up. Yeah. Because man, he, niggas he, fucked he up. Blamed, he he he's he's not taking any accountability. He blamed God. He's like, yo, man. He blamed what? God? He blamed God yeah. for him fucking shorties? Yeah, he was like... How yo. do you blame God he's for like, you yo, having he's sex? He's like, yo, I got mad at God because once I gave my life to God, everything in my life started to go down. Like, what? I, I wasn't able wow. to see my, my kids. I wasn't able to see my kids. Uh, wow. My, I wasn't talking to my wife. Da, 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 da. So I was mad. So I was like, yo, let me just go out here and have sex. That sounds insane. Wow. Yeah, that's what he said. That sounds insane. Wow. That sounds like delusional shit. Yeah. Did you hear how he talked? He, he he critiqued his own video in third person, and that's like yeah, textbook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was mad funny. That's like textbook, like, like narcissist shit. Yo, no. Yeah. There was a part that he said some shit like, he was like, yo, so Derek Jackson allegedly had sex with this bitch. I don't know if he did or not, 
But, but his wife he stand said, by him, so I think that's nigga, really it's good. you, nigga. What do you mean you don't know if he did it or not, nigga? You did you do it or not, nigga? That's what we can't, nigga. You what kind of it. sick nigga shit is this, bro? You said you did it, and then in your own critique, you said you don't know. I don't know if he did it because we don't have no proof. Crazy what do you nigga. mean we don't have no proof, nigga? Did you do the shit? What the fuck is going on, niggas? Let this shit rock. I heard he took that shit down though. Oh yeah, I mean See? of course he took that video down though. He had to. That of is course. madness to me, bro. Like that is that nigga needs to be like we need a welfare check on that nigga. Yeah. What do you think about doing two day room, super man. pump monogamy and out here cheating on the low? Wow. Monogamy, but cheating on say, re, re, say that again. My fault. Like was, what do you think about somebody like uh, like him? Like him, who's super pumping monogamy and and what a good man is, and he's. Dirt dogging it on the low. See a lot of see. Got kids and all that. There's two big problems there, mm. and um, this is a conversation we can have again because it's such a good one. I think the two big issues are one, a lot of men. Are we, me and me, you and our homeboy, we were talking about this the other day. A lot of men are just not upfront with what they want in a situation from Jim. I yeah. want to fuck mad bitches. Because sometimes you say that a couple bitches will be like, all right, cool. You, you can fuck right mad bitches one. and then you're right good. You a lot of bitches right will be like, all right, well then, whole nigga. Or they're going to fuck with you, but they don't really fuck with you. You know what I mean? You know, whatever it is, you got to eat that. But some bitches will be like, all right, cool. I'm going to fuck mad niggas, but can your ego deal with that? So that's one problem. Niggas are not up front. The other problem is, too, and women, you got to take some accountability, too. It's, you know, it's always the year of the woman. We love the woman. But at the same point in time, come on, let's just be honest with each other and stop yeah. fighting each other. We love each other. Come on. Yes, let's come back do. together. Let's build a community, right? Let's smoke blunts together. That, it's, that's romantic, I think. You know, a couple of nice roll L joints with your lady. But ladies, you got to stop fighting this. Here it is. Women want you to be monogamous and faithful only to them. And that is very noble. Noble. But a lot of men, a good portion of men, have very healthy sexual appetites. Ladies, are you willing to fulfill these appetites? Even on good days, bad days, in between days, Wednesdays? Niggas want to have sex. Yo, a niggas be reasonable. A nigga want to have sex five times a week, four times, four and a half times a week. Or if you give me some toppity top, you can have sex with me three times a week if I'm getting the brains five, six times a week. A niggas will, will feel, I, I'm telling you, a lot of niggas will be reasonable with that. But a lot of stories will be like, oh my God, six times a week. Oh, this five times a week. What do you think this is? So why can't somebody fill in? You can only do three. Why can't I get the three? Is that fair? Is that unfair? Do we need a woman to talk about that again? But Probably like I'm just saying, how, what Probably are the thoughts on this? To talk about that. No, no, but what are the you thoughts on it now, though? Well, to get to the bottom of it, right. we might need a woman. But what do you think about it? That's what it brings that up for me. That's what it, that's what it makes me think about. So we, if you, like you said earlier, you're going to get the ones that are going to be like, fuck out of here, you whole ass nigga. And then there's going to be ones that are going to be like, okay, so, but this is the relationship. That means that they're going to do the same. And so, you're good with that. Yeah, I think as long as... You have to be. I think as long as I you mean, find the one you're not, that... If you're not good with that, then you're not in... You're not going to... Yeah. Then you got to find the selfish. one that will accept what you want, and it, that's going to be even I mean, harder. I mean, and that's is insane. That it's almost 2021. impossible. Is that even realistic? Unicorn shit. Yeah, like, that's insane in 2020. She's going to let you do you, and she's going to be monogamous to you? That's not, That's unrealistic. Yeah. I think I think you gotta find the one that uh like you said, you be honest with her and you find the one who says, Yeah, I'm down with that, but like you said, you also run the risk of her saying, I'm doing me and if you're cool with that then I feel y'all can have a thriving relationship. Yeah. And it's only fair that you're open to that because you yeah, want I that. I feel like when you don't express that and you go into it saying like or making I'm monogamous yeah. and then you still f get your urges met. Or do you bring that up in the moment? Like, could you, could you, like, could you be swindled? Could it be a bait and switch? Could you go into it like, you know, you're having sex a lot, honeymoon stage. It's sweet as shit. You yeah. Know, the honeymoon is sweet. That's why it's called a honeymoon. And fucking, y'all are fucking all the time. It slows up. You go to, hey, baby, maybe we need to take a step back on this monogamous shit. If you can't fulfill it, is that a conversation that we should have in relationships more now? Yeah, I th if that's something that is arising, I definitely think so. 
Like if if the, if 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 she's not like if y'all are just at the same point still casual, like the, that's what I yeah. believe you're saying, right? Yeah. You're, you're casually dating, right? Yeah, I feel that you can express that, or you should. Express what if you're that. seriously dating? Well, then I think it should have been brought up before you. So you, you no, no, it's come to this point now. It was good. It has trailed off, I mean, or I think, it has I think, it's slowed up. I think it's gone from five, six times a week to three times a week at best, okay. two, three times a week. Yeah. And you still have your drive. How do you get through that situation? I think this is a. I think this is an accurate compromise. and and realistic situation for many men. Realistically, right. you're with a, a female for a long time. After a while, I'm not trying to cut y'all niggas off. I'm just trying to get the thought out. Oh, yeah. You're with a shorty for a long period of time, and you were having a lot of sex, and now you're having a little bit of sex, but you want more sex. I think you have to express to her that you want more. Mm -hmm. And what if she says, "I can't give you more." Like, this is what I can do right now. This is all I can do. And if you, need, you have to accept it or not. Compromise. If, if, those, if you need those two extra times uh, and that outweighs all the other stuff that you might possibly like from her, then, yeah, I'd, I'd tell you to drop it. Drop her. So are you just accepting that the way that shit is set up, that niggas just have to take that L? What do you mean take the L? You, if you expect, because if she you, says that, she says that she can only give you the sex now two times a week. That's not enough for you. You have to hold that out because you love her. I mean, and, are I, you going to break I, up with her? I mean, or are you going to cheat? She, what are you going to do? She might just say maybe this isn't the best thing for you if, if that's what or you Or she need. leaves. Whatever. Yeah, she Separate. Leave. I'm saying regardless. Either way, it breaks. You see how a nigga is up against it? Sorry. You see, My bad. You see how niggas are up against it? Up against what? That's a, like... That's a lost situation. Nigga, nigga is vilified. A dude is vilified for his sex drive. Who, who's, who? Yes. You're a bad guy vilified? for your sex drive. So, uh, she said you're bad for that. She just said. No, you but you're the bad guy. You can only lose. You can't win. If you have a high sex drive and your shorty sex drive goes down, you lost. You have to compromise. That's Because if you're going to stay with her, you have to compromise. You have you to compromise. You can't get it. No, you just have to, you have to, That's the relationship. You have to banjo Pamela That's Anderson. That's how you build you a relationship. To, you have to undulate your fingers across your. But that's you know, the thing that you have to do magic if you really want to be with this person. That's that's when the when and why does niggas always have to take the L? What do you nah, man? Women also take. the Why L. can't you take a sacrifice There's and men give me that the are sex not three so and a half sexually times active? Week. How about men that are not that sexually active? And, and they the gotta step is, it up for their shorty. And then and the women and they don't. So then the so women have to compromise. She, she, and so so but but women leave women, and women they, they leave. do. They leave. Women usually do. So you can leave. That's why so that's usually women get hurt. So by you're default. a bad guy for the sex drive because now you have to break a relationship, probably a great relationship, yeah. over sex. I mean, how? Yeah, but how important is and sex? And most niggas don't. They just eat it. I mean, and are unhappy they, and they, cheat. And they say they could. It's a conversation. How important have. is sex? Then I, to I don't you. think that that person doesn't want to be able to fulfill your your needs. I, I just think that they said that they can't. And, and how is that like? And, and see, being, like, I'm just so saying, being how is that? That's just acceptable. That? I'm talking about prolonged periods of time. I'm not talking about yeah, a but day, that's a, a working two, thing. A week, as, a, a as, month. I got as hurt. partners. You got to work. I'm together talking about on that. two, three, four months. I can't. Whatever I can't is, I'm not into it. I don't feel it. Like I feel some kind of way. I feel like you have to say, listen, we got to go to therapy then, or something. I mean, like we yeah. have to go talk about it. Because how we can't stay stuck in this rut? We can't, but still, man. That's how it Nothing is. Nothing to say? Nothing that's to how say? You, that's no, no, how you no, build no, no. a relationship. Are we enjoying I'm, this I'm, conversation? I was, I was, I was, I'm listening to you, waiting for you. You got to compromise, I'm just throwing man. things out there and seeing what, what we feel is, a, is... I don't think anybody's vilified by it, in I my think opinion. I, I feel like if you express that you need something a certain amount of times and that person says they can't fulfill that, but they... Wish you and and you wanna you know what I mean like break up with them or whatever. I think they're gonna say I wish you the best, but I, I I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill that. that so why are you copping please for the other side? Your sex drive is not being he's not copping please. I mean you I, are. Don't, don't you see that removing, you're copping please? No, he's removing himself no, from no. that situation because obviously it's not being you, fulfilled. You right? have it a, is. a partner. You go into a relationship with a partner. Maybe I'm bugging. Yeah. Maybe I'm just bugging. Go ahead, go ahead. You go into a relationship with a partner. Uh huh. You're having sex four, sorry, four, five, six times a week. Yeah. Five times regularly, six times, maybe even seven times on a good week. Okay. And then all of a sudden for a two-month-plus stretch of time, it you're down, having it two down, times down. or less and sometimes none. Yeah. 
Okay. And you bring it up, and mm-hmm. they're like, "This is I cannot. This is it. I can't keep up with that anymore." Well, they, they say they can't bring it up from the, the I can't. zero to two, or they don't. They can't bring it up to the where two it is to now eight. is where it's gonna be. So at oh, two, well, then I feel you can. Then you should be able to exit that relationship. Then I mean, if Married, it's that important to you, two years, three years, four years. So then you just gotta work at you it. You gotta go to therapy. At this point, man, I don't want to go to therapy. Important. I just don't want to have sex. Like, why is that so big to you? I mean, that's part the of it. Sex that's always part of marriage. Exactly. All it is. That's what I'm trying to and ask you. Married is it's part sex. of marriage. Now you is. break up. She says, it's because he, I, we broke up because I wouldn't have sex with him enough. Who's the bad guy there? Or, is, or She's they're going to be sympathetic guy. to her. She's the bad guy. Yeah, She's but that doesn't matter. Bad guy. If you exited no, that relationship, then you, 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 just, you were better you to yourself. You broke up a home over sex. You couldn't control your urges. That's what I think. What if... She was like, yo, I don't really want to have sex before, but after we go mar- get married, you can go crazy on me. Right? right? I said it right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm with that if I can check the whole facts. If I get a clean whole facts, then yeah, I'm with that. I need to see a bill of sales. I need to see the specs. Can I see the specs? How many niggas did you, like, did they rent it? Did, do you know how to do, do double twisty... Do you not a Yeah. Do you understand? Who, who taught you how to do it? Mm-hmm. Are you on like an appetizer? Are you on Pornhub? Like <laughs> No, no, do no. You, like y'all are together and you've had sex, but then she stopped because she was like, yo, so you and, are Oh, so she's already having sex with me and then she just cuts it off like, yo, chill. Yeah. Now yeah. we gotta yeah. get married. I can fuck with that if she's yeah, if that's right, that's a, that's actually a great that might be fire. That's a hustle, but it, it's a That's a hustle, but if, man. You're getting hustled. If everything is right, how everything checks out. That? I feel that. How realistic are you with that, honestly? How how real uh, what, how can realistic? you elaborate? What do you mean? Like how, question, how like if she's let let's say you are dating for six months or whatever and you uh get, She just stops having sex with me. Yeah. She's like, yo, I wanna wait till marriage. Cause you feel like this is marriage worthy. Yeah, yeah, both say that, right? Yeah, I can fuck with it. So how long can you go with no sex? We'd be married within six months. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not waiting. I'm the, the six month is us six months. having me having to go through at least a decent enough wedding. Yeah. Because honestly, okay, if I'm fucking with her like that, that uh-huh. I would wait. If she stopped having sex and I'm like, okay, yeah. and I'm still fucking with that whole train of thought. Then it's like, all right, so let's go down to City Hall then in two, three weeks. Let's figure it out. We got. I know we got to apply for the shit. But if she's like, I want a nice wedding. Oh, no. Then that's for six months. So within six months, we get married. So like in a year. Yeah. Married it. Fuck it. Let's get to the real question. Why the fuck she had that bond on there? So some of uh, my staff is, is objectifying her. And saying because of her appearance that we should shame her. I'm not shaming her. What I'm saying is, I know niggas that will do that and then go back because you know girls are fucking trifling. Some girls are trifling. And he'll be like, see, she don't want to get dressed for me. She don't want to look good for me. Oh, I believe he's doing, I believe he's doing all. I hope they can hear you. I hope, I think he can do all that shit. I think all of that is an angle. That's like some super. He's on some. Yeah. I feel like he is on some like movie he shit. That bonnet, to, to, to you think so? So your theory is the conspiracy is that he made her wear the bonnet so he can look back to his other joints. Like, look, man, <laughs> she won't even get dressed up for anything. She was depressed, man. I tried. I fought. Me, I prayed to God about it because I heard he's using God to to smash joints. That's you know what it was for him. You know what it was. Really? That's like he, see. That's he, why people don't fuck with. Religious shit, yeah. like that's the reason because niggas do shit like that. Like it's that's it. They they judge the people that wild out, like the priest that yeah. with the little boys. Like he was oh, see, on John that's Gray. what religion that does. John Gray who was issuing on him, but he wound up doing the same thing. Oh, you heard about that pastor that was shitting on little Nas X? You heard his little his shit? No. that shit was crazy. Wow, he yeah. just thought he was gonna get away with it. Honestly, I feel like seventy to ninety percent. <clears throat> 70 to 90 percent of niggas oh. if they're shorty one in their phone their relationship is over wow. or that's on a the high or percentage. on rocks yeah on rocky rocks that's a high rocky percentage rocks. hockey rocks of sloppiness that's a high percentage <laughs> of sloppiness 
I think it's just even shit like it's not even like what you think automatically. Yeah, I think it's thinking some other thing. I think it's just text messages are inappropriate, too inappropriate. Like wow, you still talk to Jessica? Sloppy. Really? You still talk to her every day? Did you say good morning to her? That's extra. You didn't even say That's good morning to me yesterday. That's sloppy. Man, you woke up with me. <laughs> oh, my God. And then God. they're going to say some shit like, yo, I didn't say good morning to you because I said good morning to you in real life. <laughs> oh, but you texted her good morning. Yeah. yeah you had the good. time to do that. You can't be texting girls good morning when you have a girl. No, you can't. Is that a man law or is that just like That's a relationship law? Listen. Because I, mean, I feel like there's niggas that send out the mass good morning text. Uh, who, they have them like saved, like good morning. I mean, they don't have morning, a girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I mean, morning. I feel like those are just single dudes, simps. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have a girl, you don't even have the energy for that. Simps. Nah. You gotta have the body. energy for that. You see, so that's how do you feel problem. about simps? That's like the you sex. You simps. gotta have the energy. This is the, thing, the first time we said simps. What about him? So do you believe that it's simpy to send good morning texts to the shorties? I mean, yeah, to send out mass good morning texts. Do you think it's simpy to call women queens? Uh, I think that hmm. um, it's the, the, the use of king and queen have, has gotten overused. You want to talk about this? Talk, talk about, about it. Talk about yeah. it. We can talk about it. Yeah, we ain't we're talking, talking about, about king. kings and queens. We're not talking about Hov and B, though. I think you should. I think when you have a significant Do you think other, you're a king? Huh? Are you a king? I king. hope I, I'm I'm my significant other's king. I don't think I'm just, you know, like just do a you, king. Do you consider yourself a king? <laughs> no, I would consider myself a king. Oh, yeah, man. I do. No, I would not Fuck consider that. myself a king. Fuck that. I think, I think too many people are walking around <laughs> calling themselves kings and queens. When they don't, yo, act like they don't, des- like not everybody's a king and a queen. Yeah, I'm yo. not going to lie to you. I... Like mad niggas, yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, cause mad niggas walk up to you in the streets and be like, "Yo, what yeah. up, king?" I be feeling wild disrespect from that. Like, <laughs> I feel like niggas are disrespecting me. Like, yo, what up, king? Wh- I'm like, yo, man. <laughs> what? Yo, so what's good, my nigga? So what's good? Yeah, yeah. So what, why? So what's good just, then, my nigga? What's good? Yeah, I think you should. King? Think, yo, who's yeah. yo? Who are you, my nigga? Yeah. Whose man's is this? Who's calling me king? King. Who the- so what it is then, man? What's poppin'? Why? Huh? What's poppin'? Yeah, like, yeah, what's good? What's good? Yeah, that's, that's, I feel the respect from that. Yeah. I feel like we're Niggas calling grounded. me king. I feel like there's a trap door. Yeah, like, like yo, what it's a setup. We're not what grounded up, king? here. This I got is not some timeshares. Like, yeah, what up, oh, man? man. <laughs> See? You I see? knew it. I knew you was saying something. Nigga had timeshares. I knew it. Fuck yeah. that. Nigga, timeshares in Coney Island. What yeah. is it? Nigga, what? Niggas, <laughs> Coney Island timeshares. Niggas will have what a up, CD King? For I you. knew these. I don't fuck with these niggas, man. But, uh. Um, what do you think? Bleak. <laughs> Do you think Coney are, Island timeshares. What do you think? No, no, <laughs> not Coney Island timeshares. Do you think people I'm, are using the word kings and queens too loosely? <laughs> too loosely. I mean, it with. I mean, in that, yeah. How you know how you guys described it? Then yes. Do you treat your woman like a queen? I do. Have you day. ever heard her say, "Treat I want to be treated like a queen"? I mean, yeah. <laughs> have you ever told every her, girl? Have you ever told her you want to treat her like a queen? Yes. Do you say you need to be treated like a king? I think they've ha- no, they've told me that. Have you said you want to be treated like a king? Oh, you shouldn't have to. We should just command it. You know what I mean? Oh, so you you can. But I might have said it though. I think you I what? might have said I it. I want to be treated like a king. Yeah. I want to be treated like you a king, man. Like I've been king? said that. Of course, but that's that. Are you a king? Yes. <laughs> you asked for this already. Oh, I'm <laughs> Are you a king? Please? Yes. Do you want to be treated like a king? Yes. Why don't you say it, Sir King Wavy Seal? Come on. <laughs> Why? I need that. And you should be treated. I need to be knighted. And you should be treated as such. Yes. Yo, are, I you need to get are you a king? I fucks with that. I need to get knighted. You like knighted. to be? You like to be called king? <laughs> I don't like to be called king. I don't, like, like, I don't need see, to be see, called I, king. I, I feel. I feel like I. I call my. I call my. Like I call my my significant other queen. And I mean, she calls me king, and yeah. that's cool. But like, I mean, like I feel people be taking it wild, like literal, wow. like wild literal, like people be walking around that don't command the stuff With that they anything. think, thinking they're yeah. kings, <laughs> yeah. wearing wearing purple. <laughs> Who did they like, wait, you're a king? Nah, man. But you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I do hear it a lot more though in like in uh, music and media and radio. You do hear I think it's people confidence boosting. addressing each other as king. 
What's wrong with this boosting your confidence a little bit? Just yeah. you know that you're not actually a king because you would have mad guap in a castle. You don't, if you don't have mad guap in a castle and at least like six or eight, it's like, six it's to like, eight horses like, or more, it's like if everybody's, you're not a king. If everybody's the uh, hustler, who's the customer? Yeah. Not everybody's a hustler. Uh, if you're a killer, can we? We all can be kings. Off? Show, yeah. me who, show me who you killed can since we? you're a killer. Yeah. So we say if you're a king, all, okay, kings? where's your, uh, what do you, what's it called? It? Yeah. Uh, it's cool to like, I mean, yeah. Talk to each other and uplift each other and, and instill life and, you know, pump uh, love and, you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, sometimes... But tone it down. A little, yeah. Tone it down a bit. <laughs> you're not actually a, a king, my nigga. Tone it yeah, down yeah, a like bit. You're not actually Chill a queen, out. shorty. <laughs> Give me my change. I don't even <laughs> want to be in this family. <laughs> I'm not, I'm you're not really a queen, shorty. <laughs> Just because your name is Nefertiti. All right, moving on. Oh, shit. Nah, but I can, you know, any anytime you talk about, you want to talk about hypergamy? I don't know what that is. All right, never mind. By that name. name. You have to tell me what that name is. That bitches choose niggas over who has the most bread Hierarchy. of security. Like, it's, that's oh, yeah, what they choose. Oh, yeah, about that. Yeah, I just didn't know about it by the name. And niggas choose bitches over how they look. Yeah, not their accolades. And how sexy they are. Yeah, not their accolades. But that's just like science, though. Yeah, it's cool. We can talk about that. Yeah. Bro, then we're, we're just gonna turn into Kevin Samuel. Yeah, I mean, because you know why it's gonna turn into Kevin Samuels? Because like we've all seen the it. the reason why the hypergamy is fucking bitches up now is because their goals are unrealistic. They're all looking for the same niggas, and right. those niggas are like five percent of niggas. Right. So all the bitches can't get. Every bitch is not gonna fuck LeBron. So There's one. Wanna, he already has a wife. Wanna, it's over. Wanna, yeah. So here I am catching the rebounds. Do you want to talk about? Um, That's pretty much. What you how, but they don't it. want how you, so they because women leave you automatically. So and what happens? So you sit on the, you sit on your money, you sit on the real estate, out, right? You just sit there and let it, and let it gain, let it gain, baby. Don't you you come around. About that? It was a Kevin Samuels video, but ultimately, like women don't even want women coming out of college don't even want niggas their age. They want dudes making a hundred thousand dollars. Woo! Get your money up. They and then they go into then they go into their their work and get and then start making their money and then they're like yeah if he's not making as much as I do get him out of here yeah but I like the theory of uh, damn I wish you could say that again because I want to go straight off of it uh, we're talking about how uh, ultimately he was talking about how women are waiting until they're fucking mm-hmm. thirty five to mm-hmm. try to look for marriage mm-hmm. yes and that and that fucks up the whole game. But you know why it fucks the game up? And tell me if y'all fuck with me on this. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you're still in the game. You was, this is a different kind of conversation. When you wait till you're like 32, 33, you get your career, you're, you know, your fucking masters, you yeah. know, you're the fucking CFO, CEO, about to be junior vice president, whatever it is, right? right. Yeah. Now you're 32, 33, 34. Trying to get back in the game and they're trying to back the best niggas. Right. And them niggas are already 35, 34, already been through their life, bitches, bitches that's been trying to get on them, yeah. shorties that's been trying to bag with them, okay. just back and forth. I don't mean nothing by bitches, I'm sorry. Women, ladies, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just coming in, cutting necks. Right. And, expect- and you're already old, older, too. So, like, even, you know, niggas want to get married and have mad kids, bro. I'm, t- I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Niggas want to get married and have at least two kids. Yeah. This is true. You know what I mean? So if you're 33, 34, 35, is two kids going to rock? I think so. You got to have a back-to-back. You got to have the back-to-back. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Really? After 35, having kids is shaky. Still, shaky baby. For women or for men? For women. Okay, for women, yeah. And all the right. women are choosing to wait I'm, and do the... And, and I can't really fault them all the way because men, a lot of men have been shaky. So they've developed this... Protection dome over themselves, like yo, oh, fuck. So it's a men's fault. Fuck that. That's what they're saying. That's how they're trying to play. Is it. that how you feel? No, it's not how I feel. Come on. Uh huh. I just want to make. I sure. think we both got to take accountability. Hey man, if these women want to wait, till I'm just saying 35, the, the dudes that I know, the dudes that I wait. see, they take care of their responsibilities, bro. They're in their kids' lives. They're with their shorties. They're trying to make it right. If they can't make it right, they're at least taking care of what they got to take care of. I don't see them wilding out. What? How'd you get to the, the fathers? We, we just, not necessarily just fathers, just they take care of their response. Niggas leaving 
oh. of not being. Okay, you feel okay, me? Okay, okay, okay. You see, see that's a reasonable. Yeah, no, no, no. I, okay. I, I just got lost for a second. Okay. The accountability is on both sides. Yeah. But so do you, do you feel that you, you do you feel that the average uh, woman today isn't even looking to get into marriage until like you said you, they don't look to get into marriage until their mid thirties? Is that is that the best thing for them? I don't think that's the best course, but you know women they want to do, do it. Let them do it. Do. I think that's just going to slow down birth rates. I mean, like, I don't want to get it. It's too. It's it's a lot of shit, man. No, man, you got to. If let you're do waiting it. to get married as a woman till you're 34, 35 years old, you're having two kids the most. Okay, man, but they that's and they're back to back. If you wait until thirty four as a woman to have kids, right? Get married, have kids. You're having like two kids the most. That's that third crazy. kid is shaky. Two is good, man. The probabilities, and that's good too. Two kids is good enough. None against. Yeah. Bigger families, but and the shaky two kids too, because that second one's after thirty five. Hey, man, you got to let them live. And then you did all that work, right, to get the degree, right, uh, or the position, and then you got to take time off if, you, if you're going to stay home, if you're going to stay home. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Or if you're not going to stay home, you're going to pay somebody big breads to watch the kids. What would you rather have? That's the, unfortunate the for mother, them that they uh, The mother and the children through. watching the kids uh, in those early years or, or uh, her working in um, under care by somebody else to be honest I'd rather have there's nothing better than having mom Duke's home fucking uh, taking care of the house cooking the real food so they're yeah. not eating that we don't even know what's in it Okay. Uh, teaching them the shit making sure you know what they're watching so you, even yeah. if it's some crazy shit you can explain it we don't believe that we don't agree with that that's not what we do we don't do it like that this is just entertainment that's not real whatever <laughs> the shit you gotta say Yeah. you know what I mean that's always A1, but the world we live in, it's not fair. We're under a machine. We're still slaves. We don't realize it. Mm -hmm. Niggas, the cost of living is too high that probably both niggas got to work. I, yes, that's how it is. Even if it's part-time, like, she got to work too, bro. Like, we can't afford it. To you want especially, that, Especially, we can't afford it. We got to, like, some, it's she got to work too, unless I'm making them ducats. And that's what niggas should aspire to do. It's healthy to make that duck that uh, she work. doesn't have to work. So at least that first eight years, seven, maybe I'm going far. Maybe it's really like six, seven, because after that they can walk around. Hey, come <coughs> over here. Let's go over there. Sit down. Eat this. You know what I mean? But those first five, six years, I would rather her be there. Let me ask y'all a parenting question. Mm. Would you let your kids listen to rap music? Yes. I mean, they're black, yes. But it'd be heavily... Like the edited it would be, versions? We'd have to... We'd, or would you let them listen mad, to the regular it's so, it, It's kid by kid. I can't front. Like, the songs I love, they're part of me, too. I, I, I already do play songs that I love in front of my children. Like, so... Like songs that you shouldn't be playing? Are you? I mean, nah, songs I that definitely... I, songs I, shouldn't play. I'm not, I listen to everything as a kid, so... I'm obviously I feel like a great song torch. to play is like all the melodies and all them shits I play, like the Frank Sinatra heats and them fucking R and B shits. But the wrong songs to play is like I still love my thug shit. I still love my future shit. I don't listen to body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Oh, little kids love body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Yeah. They love that fucking song. Or Corvette Corvette. Watch them They love it. It's the beat. It's just it's just the beat. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable playing because it's so the words are so provocative, and I feel like it's a part of their innocence being taken away from them. Mm -hmm. But I feel like okay. if it's my kid, yeah, it'll be so heavily monitored and explained and yeah. reinforced and talked about. Like that's not these are grown people talking about shit that we don't even fuck with. I feel like, you. Got you know it. what I mean? This is, but I'm not introducing that to them. Yeah, I feel you can't. And for me, I'm not playing no. Uh Vulgar music around my kids. Right now it's heavy R and B. Yeah. Heavy yeah. standards. They jazz, can catch up like later. Classical music. Yeah, they, like. They can but I'm catch not up later. Every now and then there's some melodic mm. ass thug shit that I play, but he's not understanding none of them words. Hmm. Grown niggas can't understand them words. Yeah. I feel like we lost kids. So. If we turn around and, and keep that from them and 
It's, and that's why and that's and that's why I feel like I still play this shit and I still explain this shit because I'd rather explain it to you than some stupid nigga explain it to you. Like this is real. This is the coolest shit ever. Not this necessarily. Is what it is. Like I'm like, yo, this is fucking music, bro. Not necessarily. This is not real. Not necessarily. You don't have you know to be saying? like that. That's why I will Cause they could find that on their own is true from someone else, but if they come to you and they present it to you and you don't no, actually, it's no. They it. will come it's just to you. Not pl- allowing that music in the crib. Oh. Kids, I'm sure that kids. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hide anything until it was denied. So, if I, we all had to hide music from our. our, our, yeah, our that's, parents. it's music. Yeah. Right, that's understandable. I didn't hide no yeah. music from my parents. I, I, I feel not one in a blast. Curse but words it wasn't that. Parents. But they didn't put me on. That well, mean our that parents they put, at the know, same point in time, I feel like our parents. Stop it! I don't know about so I don't different. know about everybody's parents. But I know my it. parents told me this music is not real. These people are saying the most craziest shit. They're just saying stories. Like, don't believe this. This is not what you want to be. This is not what you want to do. They're also saying that, and I feel like as parents, we go even further because we know even more about this music and how much more it's not real. For the most part, I mean, there's real aspects of it because some of these things do happen. But these people are, you know, this glitz and glamour, this lifestyle is not what it really is, what it seems to be. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, you just can't uh, deny it. If you deny it, then that's when they'll hide it. Uh, so you gotta be open. expose your kids to the music? No. No. Introduce it to them? No. No. If you find like, them, I, like, if you like, find you can, them no, hide I'm saying, I'm not playing... There's, there's cool rap you, songs Gangsta's that, Paradise. Like, I mean, yeah, like... Chance the Rapper's album. I mean, probably not Chance the Rapper because I don't like him. Drake. But yeah, so, yeah the, the more PG... Drake and of, Dirk. No. Uh, Kanye. Like, there's, there's cool rap to play. Jay-Z, that, Niggas that, in Paris. Not, no. Crazy in Love with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Sure. <laughs> nah, he said he moved the bass like he's Juan Pierre. Okay, so... He said he run the bass like he's Juan Pierre. So, no, never mind. You're going to have to explain what that means to them. About Jesus. Jesus is King and Kanye album. I haven't heard it. You didn't? You Stop lying. Fire Bleak album. played that shit nonstop when it came Fire, out. Heat. Blood but Exchange. Yeah, man. How about the new Nas album? No. Grammy, Grammy Award winning Nas. What about the Grammy Award winning Nas album? No. You could definitely put your kids on some music, man. No. No Nas. King's Disease. Yeah, King theme. I heard. Good looks. Yeah. I think this was an excellent episode. Cool, yeah. Let's get it. Smokey everywhere. Where we potted smoke, today? Smoke, smoke, smoke. We potted it the fuck down. Smoke. Oh, uh, we we came back. We bounced back from the foolishness. Yeah. Foolish. Uh, what's new, guys? That's it. We're done. Yeah. We're out of here. Nothing else. <laughs> Thanks for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping the blunt with us. Yeah. And we'll try to do better next week. Yeah. It's the blunt yeah. change episode thirty-five. Thirty-five. Uh, Hit us up, Blank Shades Gmail. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help us grow the channel, um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get it.